Good morning, amazing person. New week, new beginnings. I kind of have a lot to do this week. I'm going camping. I want to sort out my bedding. I have to cook today. I just ordered my groceries. I and I'm also checking on this guy who's trying to steal a bike outside. It really is none of my business, but I think this guy is checking on stealing a bike outside. He just cut down the chain. Hmm. Very suspicious. And what else do I have to do this week? I, he's sitting in his car. He saw me, looked at him, and then he went to his car. It's so suspicious. Anyway, I gotta turn off the light because it's already light outside and there's no need to keep the lights on. And then I'm gonna start work. I have eight more minutes. I already made my coffee, which is great. So I'm just gonna start. Work is going to be very, very hectic. Good morning. Good morning, Angel. Good morning. Quick update on my girls. The cheer here is doing really well. I think the baby leaves are starting to grow. They're definitely not dying. All the leaves are perfectly green. I looked up how I should take care of them. She needs moist and water and occasionally she has to dry down. So I'm giving her a lot of water, feed her because she's still growing and what was it? Yeah, twice a month feeding lots of water and then let it dry down and then start giving her lots of water again. So this is going well. Um, they did not break the, the stems because that's what they usually do. It's just um, five stems and I'm gonna leave it like this. I'm not gonna braid it. I think it's weird, <laughs> but yeah, she's growing fine. This one, Dipsis, she wasn't doing too well. She's getting brown and she clearly needs more. So I looked it up and I think she needs more water. I was keeping it really dry because I didn't know um, that she needed that much water and she needs moist on the leaves. So I'm gonna use the spray bottle and spray the leaves. And also I need to rotate her every day to just keep it even in the sunlight because maybe she's getting too much sunlight that's a thing too um it's not too cold inside but it may be a problem with too too little moist so even this this is kind of my my reference point if this leaf dies down then yeah, then it's a big, big problem. There are still a couple of leaves that are doing really well, especially the new ones. So I'm not giving up on her, not at all. Bumby, this one, I'm still not sure what kind of plant it is. I'm going with Bumbo, so I'm calling her Bumby. And she's still green. She lost a lot of leaves, but maybe it's a winter thing because right now she looks a lot greener. We do have all of these that just died down completely, but there's still so much green. So I'm just going to keep hope. I love these three girls <laughs> and they're going to make it. So that was my update. I'm doing well. They are doing well. I'm gonna moist uh, the leaves today, spray them, and hopefully all is going to, um, hopefully they're going to grow really tall. This one can grow up to two meters. This one too. I have a palm outside, which also really died in the winter. 
So I'm gonna start my work day. It's 7.30. I used to start work at seven o'clock, but it's not sufficient for me. So I'm starting 7.30 now. And it's kind of my break for the day. Um, what's my password? I remember this one time calling um, the computer help desk because I couldn't log in and I was not filling in my code. And they can see what you're doing. But once I realized I was not filling in my code, something that I'm doing every morning, but it was Monday morning. <laughs> and I just told them, yeah, I did that, but it didn't work. And they were like, mm -hmm, I see what you did there. <laughs> But they just didn't call me out on it. Anyway, I started 7.30 because um, my morning routine totally changed. I actually do yoga in the morning now. Every morning, like a quick yoga session just to loosen up my body. Short yoga session, 5 to 10 minutes. Really loosen you up and get your blood flowing. And before that, I meditate. Also 10 minutes, 10 to 20 minutes, not more than that. But it takes up time. It's like half an hour of getting in the right mindset. And then I read scripture, have a big shower and do everything else. By seven o'clock when I need to start work, I, I didn't have the time to do anything else in my morning routine. And by actually starting 7.30, I have from 7 to 7.30 to just chill, maybe clear something from the counter or clean something, make my bed extra, just little things that normally would not happen because, yeah, I have to start work and work pays my bills, so yeah. It's working out. And that half hour is actually my lunch break that I'm taking at the beginning of the day. So I'm really playing around with it. Sometimes when I really want to take a lunch break, I start work at 7 and then I take my lunch break later on in, on the day. With that being said, I already started to answer my meals. Weekends are um, a lot when it comes to meals. I always have a massive amount of meals on Monday, but there's a lot of fluff. There's a lot of spam and just newsletter stuff like that that I can just throw away. And once that is done, I can actually start answering the meals that really matter. <clears throat> You know what I wish? I wish I could sync all of my passwords because I have to remember so many different passwords. I think that's taking up most of the time in the morning. Logging into all of the systems that I need. It's just not efficient. It's safe. But it's not efficient. I also need people to not know me before 9 a.m. I just locked in and I already have too many emails. And this funny thing happened last week. Somebody sent out a mail to ask if people were, st were still using uh, some system. I never heard of it. <laughs> um, everybody's replying to all for some reason. I don't know why they're doing it. Maybe they just think it's funny. But I've been getting so many mails and people keep answering like, don't reply to all, but they reply to all when they say something like that. So it's just, it's amusement to me. I mean, I could just click it 
away because they're, they all have the same subject. I could just click everything away, but it's amusing to me. It's my tiny little soap, tiny little office soap. And it's great to see how people really get aggressive with it. Damn it, it's been a week. Stop answering to all. This is what you should do. And I'm thinking like, they know what they should do. They're just trying to make you aggressive. And it's working. It's working. Oh yeah, we're supposed to delete TikTok and Telegram from our work phones. Um, I don't see why people would have TikTok on their work phones. I get Telegram. Some people prefer Telegram to talk to people. I never used Telegram before, so it's not my problem. Do I need anything else? No. So I'm done logging in. I'm going to get me a bottle of water, light my new candle. Put on moisturizer, put on lip balm, and then I'm gonna start grinding. So I'm done. Moisturizing sunscreen. Some people may think it's weird, funny, Whatever, but I mean, okay. So, sunscreen, even though I'm inside, as you can see, it's a very bright room. I did not even open my windows, my curtains. So, with my curtains open, I do get a lot of sunshine in here, and this whole situation is skin discoloration due to excess melanin due to sun sun too much sun I don't know I'm just really sensitive to sunshine and I do have to just cover myself with um, sun protection I get my summer color by just going into the sunshine strategically after two o'clock or before 11 o'clock usually on vacation and when i'm home i just do it really gradually but if i go outside in the summer or whenever the sun is out i try and wear something like a hat or and sometimes i really get jealous when i see people just walking around with you know a tank top really open enjoying the sun face all out hair to the back no cap or whatever not even sunglasses yeah i wish i could be that person i was that person when i was younger but somewhere down the line things went wrong and now i'm sensitive to light i'm really getting in the moment with this candle I mean, starting work, smelling this candle is really a treat. It smells so great. It really does. Would it be really weird if I got a couple of these candles? Because then I would have this stone guy pot staring at me, not one time, but multiple times. Or do I give them away when they're empty? Or maybe I could just do different herbs in them. That could be a vibe, like four different herbs in these pots once the candles are burned out. Yeah. Because it is like an early pot. And it'll be as if there's hair growing out of his head once I plant something inside of it. So I put out some emails, I'm waiting on answers. And right now, I'm gonna start processing some stuff that needs processing. 
by the way, this is all I'm planning on doing. I have my first meeting at 10 o'clock, and then I have another meeting at 3 o'clock. This is going to be my dinner. I have salmon and a salad with quinoa. It's a lot, it's very heavy, but yeah, it's an early dinner. And if I can't finish it now, I'm going to eat the rest later on. And that's basically my two meals in a day. Pancake, very heavy pancake and this salad. And maybe tomorrow if I feel like it, I'll eat something with a lot more carbs but i'm starting with keto again next week after camping because keto and camping really don't go together camping food is all about french fries stuff like that so it's not gonna work and i'm not staying home because it's finally getting better outside i mean the weather <laughs> i really want to go out i want to get out of the house i want to do something i want something that resembles a vacation a little and that's camping i know you've been hurt i know that you're trying the boss is complaining your phone's always ringing outside this the cold wind inside the monotony baby we need an exit from this honey we need the sweet release i know what we'll feel from the electric feel you and me all night yeah be all right if you close your eyes close your eyes i know you've been hurt I so i'm not eating i'm done editing for today and it's still light outside it's 7 p.m i'm really really happy that there's more light in our days who open up the whole house every day still need to go to storage to get a few things before I go camping, I want to bring everything upstairs and check if everything's still working, except for the tent because it's huge. And I was thinking about doing that today, but I'm done with going outside and everything. So I'm just gonna let it sit there and tomorrow I'll make an honest effort to bring everything up and check everything. I still have four more days until we go camping. So tomorrow is soon enough. I'm gonna take a shower and then I'm gonna unwind this in journaling, maybe watch some Netflix. For some reason, I can't find anything on Netflix to watch. I would love some recommendations because I'm I'm really I'm strolling through all of the series and movies and nothing really catches my eye so if you have any recommendations on netflix please let me know other than that there is still disney there are a lot of things on disney that i want to watch and re-watch um i think i'm gonna watch loki again that would be a good one before you know the whole 
but that's basically it. I think it's time for me to start reading again because I haven't read a book in a month and I promised myself to read at least one book fiction and one book non-fiction each and every month and I haven't been doing that so maybe this is you know I'm on I'm just gonna stop watching so much series so maybe tonight I'll do both read a little I'm gonna start with five to ten pages and see if I get into the flow of the book because some some books can really be boring when you start reading them and once you're in the story you want to read more of it so I'm gonna set my goal to 10 pages and if the book really catches me I can read on and if not I'll still read 10 pages and after that I can do Netflix or Disney anything but watch the news I read the news articles because then I can really shift through the things that are somewhat important but um, I think it's important to know what's going on in the world but I don't want to watch it in detail every single day that being said thank you so much for sharing the day with me to watch what I ate today and be with me while I was working especially in the morning and I will see you in the next vlog. Bye.